Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, the South Mecklenburg High School players proudly present the greatest show on earth. Come join our circus on March the 21st through the 24th. Come climb aboard before it moves on and you'll thank your lucky stars you did. Welcome back to SMTV News. I am Cypress McCoy. And I am Leonie Wallace. After seeing the promo for Barnum, Leonie and I have some questions for the lead of the musical, Garrett Elder. So, Garrett, um, what is your favorite part about being a cast member in Barnum? Well, I'll tell you. It's my, fav my favorite thing is to be able to take what we have written in our script, what we bought, and be able to put it all together with lights and sound and music and our acting and put together one big performance, one big show. It's really, really a cool process, and I'm very excited to be a part of it. Um, so how many hours did it take for you to practice for this big role? <laughs> a bunch. We, um, so we, our cast list was announced the Tuesday before we went to Thanksgiving break, and then our first practice was that Monday after. So we've been practicing most every day since then, so we've put a whole lot of hours into it. So it's, it's definitely near and dear to all of our hearts just because of how much time we have put into it. Now, how do you remember all of those lines? <laughs> That's a great question. So the, the, real, the real answer there is that you have to take it by, by section. You take each scene and memorize those lines that are, that are associated with that scene. You can't try and start at the beginning and then run all the way through. That's just not how a human mind can function. So being able to, you have to just break it down and take each part and call it good that way. So it's really, really tough, but it's cool to be able to try and do. All right, thank you, Garrett, and I can't wait to see the show. Thank you, Garrett. Now let's take a look at Prom Through the Ages, put together by Lillian Parker and Molly Hicks. This next segment could be very relatable to all South Mex students. The Stress of South Mex Students, a piece by Skyline Corette and Ada Zhang.
As high school students, what are y'all stressed about? Well, I'm stressed about what I want to do next year, what college I want to go to, keeping my grades up right now, making sure everything looks good on a transcript. It's a lot to think about, you know. Happy seniors. How about you? I would say it's kind of the same stress for freshmen, other than finding out what college you're going to next year, obviously. And I think thinking about what you're going to do next year is a big part in keeping your grades up as well, because your GPA matters your whole high school career. And that's something that stresses us out as well. How do you guys manage your stress? Humor. You gotta find a good haha -ha, knee slapper joke every now and again. Always good for those. I I'm a planner personally, so how I deal with stress is even if it's planning something that doesn't have to do with school, I'll just start planning things out like what I want to do tomorrow, that kind of thing. As a senior, what kind of advice can you give to a freshman dealing with stress? The moral of the story is it's not the end of the world if you get a B on your biology test. I mean, you still, you're still going to be a healthy, happy student, right? That's what's most important. Remember that you're going to be a healthy, happy person, even if you don't do as well on that test and are still stressed out about it afterwards. It's going to be okay. And as a freshman, what kind of advice do you, can you give to a rising freshman? You know, don't think about it too much. Well, obviously, like, put time into your score. But I wouldn't think about it too much because that could psych you out. That can affect your grades even. So just don't stress too much. During this past week, we interviewed high school students on what stresses them out the most. Adjusting to high school schedule seemed to be the least stress. Balancing coursework was stressful for mainly freshmen and sophomores, and planning for your future seemed to be the most stressful for mainly juniors and seniors. We also went around interviewing students on how they manage their stress. Procrastination seemed to be the popular, the most popular method for students. Planning seemed to be the least favorite, and self-care was a runner-up for all grades. Next up, we have an overlook of the amazing performances put on by orchestra for MPA. Let's see what Luisa Trujillo and Andrea Lopez put together. South Mex Orchestra traveled to Winston-Salem on March 14th for the Western Regional MPA. For those who do not know what MPA is, it is a performance in which the group gets judged and rated on and named for the highest score, which is a superior. Congratulations on both Symphonic and Chamber Orchestra for getting all superiors. For our final segment, we have an informative piece on our food pantry here at South Mech, brought to you by Caroline Bridgman and Valentina Ricorte. What is the goal of the food pantry? So the goal of the food pantry is to get as much food to people that don't have homes out as possible. What, what started the food pantry? Uh, we wanted to make like a room where food can go. So like we wanted to put out food so that people don't go hungry. And what goes into the process of like the food pantry? So we package package food goods in here. So 
we like sort cans, we check dates on packaged food and cans, and so macaroni and cheese, ramen, anything you can find is up here that are packaged. Do you like working in the food pantry? Yes. If so, why? Because like it gives me, like I want to help make people happy, so like I like to give food back. If you are interested in poetry, be sure to check the National Student Poetry Contest. All entries are due April 30th. There are projects for students, teachers, and the school. It is a great opportunity for students to showcase their writing. If any students or teachers have any questions, they can come by the library or email Ms. Lackey. A reminder to all students and staff, if you or your club or organization has any upcoming events you would like for us to cover on SMTV, please email us at smtvannouncements at gmail.com. Or you can share your news with us on our website. We want to be sure we include all aspects of South Mac life. Also, don't forget to check out our news blog, The Sabre Voice. All SMTV info, important links, and school news updates can be found there. You can access our website at thesabrevoice.com. You should also be sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at South Mac Media. From all of us at SMTV News, this has been Cypress and Leonie. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next week.